Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss, I'm on back 33. One thing I almost forgot to do before you leave and gave and go to the Chico Woods. Sorry, okay, try to try, talk to the guy who you tried to steal an apple from earlier. And then uh, you'll get this cutscene here. And he asks you a favor, and then, yes, of course you want to. So, uh, Treasure has got uh, mixed up in the stuff that was stolen. So, uh, he can't leave. So, he wants you to go get it for him. And he won't, doesn't expect us to do it for free, so we're going to go do it for him. And Luke's like, I don't want to do it. And Tears like, okay, well, let's go do it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, there's a small box. We can't look inside it. So. So, let's go, uh, gee, let's go to Chico Wood. Alright, uh, on the map, you can see another glowy spot. Uh, we're not going to worry about that yet, because we're still trying to avoid enemies for the time being. Until uh, we get something. So Chico Woods, oh, looks like we're not going to get to avoid. So this is a giant bee. Uh, he can hurt. <laughs> Make sure you block against this guy. He's got uh, 800 hit points if you're playing on very hard mode. Fangblade isn't isn't very effective against this guy, just because it's such a small target. The over the over and X attack is uh, actually pretty useful. And tier gap level, tier game level is okay. All right, so uh, that's a weird looking tree, isn't it? Hey, it's that Ion kid. Oh, it's Ion. He's in trouble. He's all exhausted. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Well, they're dead. <laughs> we don't need to help this guy out, right? Oh, maybe so. He exhausted himself. Hey, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I just used too strong a Dothic phonic art. Why does he sound like Irish there? <laughs> oh, you're the two from Engave yesterday. This is a guy, by the way. If it hasn't been pointed out, he is a guy. Luke, that means Light of the Sacred Flame in Ancient Espanian. That's a nice name. Oh, that sounds familiar, Light of the Sacred Flame. I'm Locrian Sergeant Tyr Grants. First Platoon Oracle Knights Intelligence Division under Grand Maestro Mo's command. Ah, oh, you're Van's younger sister. What? I've heard of you. <laughs> this is the first time we've met, isn't it? You're Master Van's sister? Then what was with you trying to kill him? <laughs> and we get a title Van's sister. Or Tyr gets Van's sister kill title. Him? Sorry, it's nothing. Just something between us. Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't try to avoid the question. If you're his sister, why are you trying to kill him? <laughs> it's... I... It's a cheagle. So they do live here. Come on, we're gonna catch that thing. <laughs> Would it be best if I don't inquire about you and Van? I'm sorry. It relates to my homeland. I'd prefer not to get you or Luke involved. Hey, it's gonna get away! Let's go! What? Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Luke is in command. Cheagle Woods. Oh, cutscene, skit. You're gonna see Ion and skits. I just wanna find out what happened in the game. I'm sorry I can't fight. Not your business, though. They're, the Cheagles are sacred, though. They must have some reason for harming people. Even though they're not, they're stole, not harming. One who connected, I must protect them. Or find out about them. Maybe I'm strange, but that's what I gotta do. If we find the Cheagles, we might learn what's going on. Let's just find them already. I'm bored. That's what Luke's like. So, uh... Here's the deal. We're gonna get all the story out of the way because there's something in this uh, place that'll make me. Whoa! These guys can fly across there. 
There's something here that will make me want to fight. Well, I want to fight. Trust me, I do. Ah, oh, fudge! <laughs> I just don't want to level up yet. With Luke, anyway. You'll see why. Come on. How much hit points these guys got? 1600! What? Okay, let's pulverize these guys. There we go. It's a tear. Blocked! On my face! Okay. Okay, if you stay in those fields... I'll explain it later, but basically, she did a stronger spell than first aid. We haven't even seen her use first aid yet. That's the first. That's the first time she used the first aid, and it turned into meditation. <laughs> and I really shouldn't be backing off these guys when they do that dive attack. Get out of my face! All right, Luke didn't level up, so it's fine. <laughs> Man, first aid, by the way, heals a small amount. It's all. It's a percentage. That oh, looks fine. Oh, apparently we can't enter a screen without uh, getting a cutscene. It got away. Could you two be any slower? Don't worry. Their nesting ground should be up ahead. Yeah, Luke. How do you know? Oh, um, actually, I was curious about the thefts and engave and did a little looking. Cheagles are intelligent and peaceful creatures. It's not like them to steal food. So why why are we at the front of the forest then? Hmm. If you've already well, been in here. Looks like we're both headed to the same place then. The two of you came here to investigate the Cheagles too? I'm yep. not gonna just let people accuse me of things I didn't do. And you're coming with us. <laughs> really? You don't mind? How can you think of taking Phone Master Ion somewhere so dangerous? Then what do you want to do with him? He'll just come wandering back here on his own. I'm sorry, I just have to know. Cheagles are the sacred beasts of our order after all. See? Besides, we can't just leave a guy with a face so pale he looks like he's about to die. This next sentence sounds so sarcastic, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a nice person, Luke. Like, that really sounds sarcastic, the way he says it. No, no, I'm not. Now, quit saying stupid stuff and let's go. Okay. And don't use that weird art again. You damn near passed out. We'll take care of the fighting. Yeah. You're gonna protect me, Sir Luke. I'm so moved. Like he sounds like he's not serious at all. <laughs> That's not what I meant. You'll just be in the way. Don't get all worked up over it. And it's just Luke. Got it? Now let's go. Okay, Luke. All right. Yeah, my face. Cutscene City. Uh -huh. so that's a cheagle? It looks like it's still a child. It's so cute. <laughs> hey, it ran away. So... It is a wild animal after all. This must be the cheagle's nesting area. I do hope we can find some proof they stole food from the village. Those stupid things probably left proof all over the place. Let's explore a little. So as you can tell, Sierra's a little soft spot for little cute things like this. Yeah, you can't tell. I don't know where I'm going. These apples have the mark of Engave on them. So, these guys did do it. I think I hear something inside this tree. Cheagles live inside tree trunks. So I bet there's cheagles in there. Phone master, that's too dangerous. This kid is hopeless. Please, let me through. Oh man, so many. Like the monsters are gonna understand you. The Order's founder, Yulia Jue, made a pact with the cheagles and gained their aid. Or so I've been told. Mew, mew. Mew, mew. <laughs> 
Are you of relation to Yulia Jueth? Whoa, it spoke. the monster talked. It is the power of the ring we were granted as part of our pact with Yulia. Are you of relation to Yulia? Yes, I'm Ion, phone master of the Order of Lorelei. Am I correct in assuming that you're the Cheagle Elder? Indeed, I am. Hey, monster. You guys stole food from and gave, right? I see now. So you've come to exterminate us. <laughs> hmm. So you don't deny it. Cheagles are herbivores. Why do you need to steal human food? To preserve the Cheagle tribe? It doesn't look like you lack food. There's plenty of vegetation in this forest. One of our members caused a fire in the northern region. As a result, the Ligers that lived there ligers. moved down to this <laughs> forest. In oh, order Napoleon to prey Dynamite. On us. Then the reason you stole the food was so your people wouldn't be eaten. Correct. If they aren't sent food periodically, we Cheagles are captured and eaten. That's horrible. And totally not our problem. If you're weak, you're food. That's how it works. Oh, that's the title right there. If you're weak, you're food. Besides, <laughs> I'd be mad too if you torched my land. That may be true, but this is hardly a normal food chain. Luke, we've confirmed that the thieves are Cheekles. What do you want to do now? What else? We're going to drag these guys down to Engave and... But if we do that, the Ligers will likely attack Engave next in search of food. I don't care what happens to that stupid village. <laughs> That's not acceptable. Food from Engave is shipped throughout the entire world, not just the Malkuth Empire. Then what do we do? Let's negotiate with the Ligers. Yeah, negotiate with monsters. That's with a good monsters? idea. With monsters? Can those Liger things talk too? We can't talk to them directly, but if we take one of the Cheagles with us as a translator... Is he going to come with us then? shall lend this sorcerer's ring to the one who will be your interpreter. Mew. Mew, 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 mew. Oh. This guy. What the? This child is the one who caused the fire in the north. I want you to take him with you. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> My name's Mew. Please to How original. His name is Mew. That's all they say. It's like Something a Pokemon. This thing is really annoying. gonna drive me nuts I should just roast you and eat you right now <laughs> all right so we have the sorcerer's ring ah more skits these chicos get my nerves I think they're rather cute they're adorable they keep bouncing all over the place making all weird noises they bug me be quite soothing to have a bunch of them just playing around. I admit, for a sacred beast, I was expecting a little more majestic, maybe? I'd say cute is best, personally. Whatever. I'm bored again. Alright, we hurt. If you talk to, uh. Elder here. Uh. She'll let you rest. We sleep on the ground inside of a tree and get health. Alright, and now, uh, let's move on. Everyone watch this! Okay. Look, he can shoot fire. Whoa! He breathed fire! Neat, huh? What was that? I can breathe fire, so I'm useful for more than just interpreting. I'm going to work extra hard to make up for all the trouble I caused my friends. Yeah. That's right. I'd forgotten the Cheagles were a fire-breathing species. Of course, you know. Yes, they look yeah, like they are. But mine is special. Special? I'm still a child, so I can't actually breathe fire. But... But... The Sorcerer's Ring! Thanks to that, I can breathe fire! And no matter how much fire I breathe out, I never get tired! 
It's a good idea, breathing fire so in a forest. Ring is good for more than just translation, huh? It was originally made to amplify phonic arcs. It's a type of capacity core. But a flame of that capacity size core, isn't going huh? to be of much use in battle. <laughs> yeah, but come on, breathing fire. That'll be fun. <laughs> hey you. Think. <laughs> Luke, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, shut up. It's fine for this little freak. Listen up, thing. When I give That's you enough order, thing. you fire. Got it? Mew. Yes, sir. Alright. Mew learned Mew fire. You know what that means. This ain't leaving us anytime soon. So if you shoot, press the square button, you can shoot fire with it. You can talk to the Cheekles with uh, Mew and your party, and they'll tell you stuff. Somewhere in the woods, there's a yellow flag. That's not exactly what we're looking for, but I guess it could be useful. Alright, we're gonna go do one more cutscene, which will get us the thing I've been wanting to get for a while now. And then, uh. The Liger's Lair is up ahead, right? Sorry, yes! two cutscenes. Cross the river and keep going! How are we supposed to cross the river when there's no bridge? Go through it? We just have to wade through the river. Are you serious? My shoes, my clothes, everything will get drenched. No way. <laughs> Fine. You can stay here. Someone who cares that much about his clothing would just get in the way. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, Thing. Breathe fire on that tree's roots. Mew? You heard me. Breathe fire already. <laughs> Mew! Mew! Alright, so you go over here, you do this, and good things happen. Because Luke, I don't know, I don't understand how he could figure this out, by the way. He's an idiot. Huh. What do you think of that? I see. The tree's roots were rotten. Excellent thinking, Luke. Yeah, because he knows the stuff like this. Nothing. Indeed. Mew is the one who deserves thanks. Hey. <laughs> I thought it was nothing for you. And stop yelling. <laughs> Phone Master Ion, shall we be on our way? Oh, right. Luke, cheer up. Come on, let's get going. Let's go! Shut Man, up. they say let's go a lot. Mew. What are we doing on time, by the way? Ooh. Ooh, let's hurry up with this cutscene. I hate how there's about a cutscene in every single screen in this place. Hey, Ion. Yes? you learn strong moves like that art you used earlier? Could I learn to do that too? That was a Dothic phonic art. You see, it's... <laughs> wait, wait, I don't need some long explanation. Just tell me if there's some easy way to get stronger. <laughs> You're unbelievable. What? Please, don't fight. I'll tell you an easy way to become stronger. Really? How? What kind of capacity core do you use, Luke? Yeah, because he knows. Capacity core? What's that? You don't know? He's somewhat ignorant about the world. Well, excuse me. Princess. <laughs> you take this, Luke. Is this a capacity core? Yes. You can think of it as an accessory with a phonic art applied to it. Of course. Your That's body's abilities about it. will increase in accordance with the phonic verse inscribed. These days, even regular citizens wear them as fashion accessories. So if I put this on, I can use that art you used earlier? I'm sorry, <laughs> only phone masters of the Order of Lorelei can use Dothic phonic arts. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> but with a capacity core equipped, you can learn special abilities. Use it well, and you'll be strong enough. Alright. How's it look? It looks good on you, Luke. Next episode. Cool. Now I can get stronger, too. At least your muscles will. Alright, next episode, we're gonna go... We're gonna start back at the Cheekle uh, tree, and we're gonna actually explore this forest. Cause now, and I'll go over what this uh, thing we just got is. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.